Ball. for the College of Health and what Human Services and the College of Natural and Social Sciences. Develop. Will the class How of 2016 please boundaries. rise and be acknowledged Move by your family, friends, and How guests surprise, inside the stadium? Disrupt. Shift the paradigm. How will we build a legacy? With a renewed mission and a strong sense of purpose, we say, Will the audience please rise and the candidates remain standing place, for the academic procession and the national opportunity anthem? opportunity and success converge, we are poised to transform our campus, our city, and our world. In order to lead our community, we must first serve it. In order to be global citizens, we must first be civic-minded. Who will lead the way? Who will stand up? Who will soar? California State University, Los Angeles. LA's public university for the public good. How do we adapt, transform, evolve? What does it mean to progress? Advance, develop. How far can we push the boundaries, move the needle? How can we surprise, disrupt, shift the paradigm? How will we build a legacy? With a renewed mission and a strong sense of purpose, we say, now is the time. In this place, where dedication, opportunity, and success converge, we are poised to transform our campus, our city, and our world. In order to lead our community, we must first serve it. In order to be global citizens, we must first be civic-minded. Who will lead the way? Who will stand up? Who will soar? California State University, Los Angeles. LA's public university for the public good. How do we adapt, transform, evolve? What does it mean to progress, advance, develop? How far can we push the boundaries, move the needle? How can we surprise, disrupt, shift the paradigm? How will we build a legacy? With a renewed mission and a strong sense of purpose, we say, now is the time. In this place, where dedication, opportunity,
twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the Please be seated. Good afternoon, students, honored family member, and friends. I'm Ron Vogel, Dean of the College of Health and Human Services. This is the graduation commencement ceremony for the College of Health and Human Services and the College of Natural and Social Sciences. Welcome. Over the course of your academic career, our faculty, administrators, and staff have shared with you valuable information about the world that informs and excites them. They have become your mentors, and for many of you, your colleagues. At this time, I would like to acknowledge the Vice Chair of the Academic Senate, Dr. Gretchen Peterson, the members of the faculty, emeriti faculty, staff, certainly representing the university's six colleges, the John F. Kennedy Memorial Library, and the administration for their contributions and assisting students to excel and achieve their goals. Will these members of the university community please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Now please join me in extending a warm welcome to the President of California State University of Los Angeles, Dr. William A. Covino. Thank you, Ron. Congratulations, class of 2016. All right. This is your day, right? A day that was years in the making. You've worked hard for it. You've earned the right to be here. Nobody gave you a degree. It was not a gift. I'll confer it on you today because you have earned it. So by the time the ceremony's over, you will officially hold a degree, for some of you, a second degree from Cal State LA, and will be a new or continuing alumnus or alumna of this university. But you'll have more than a degree. You'll have a story to tell about how you earned that degree, about what brought you to this day. So when you leave today, be ready to tell that story. Be ready to be an ambassador for the university because your story matters. And you know it better than anyone. You've lived it. You know about those long nights studying, assignment after assignment after assignment, interesting but hard research. You know about working and going to school and shouldering other responsibilities. You know about pushing boundaries toward excellence that's even beyond what you thought was possible. 
So you have a story to tell. And it isn't yours alone. We know you didn't achieve this goal alone or just for yourselves. You did it for your parents who worked hard to give you opportunities they never had, for your younger brothers and sisters and nieces and nephews so they would have strong and sure footsteps to follow, for your own sons and daughters so you can provide them a better life. You did it because you want to be part of the solution in your communities and in your families, in the city and in the world. And that story, your story, may have turned out differently if not for the support of those loved ones who wouldn't let you give up, kept believing in you, kept believing in your dreams, even when times got tough. So we want to congratulate, with our applause, class of 2016, all the parents, loved ones, friends, please stand. Let us congratulate you. Thank you for all that you've done to make this day possible. And this is your day as well. So, class of 2016, your story includes a chapter about how you helped to change this university through what you taught us. You've taught us, faculty, staff, administrators, what it takes to come to days like this, to graduate successful students like you, who are ready to take their places in the world. Your success reminds us what matters most. Students come first. Your future is at the heart of our initiatives, our plans, our projects. Your success is our success. You've taught us that engaged learning in the classroom and in the community makes everyone better able to start rewarding careers, equipped to contribute and lead because you have had hands-on experience. And we have learned from you, from your example, to strive for the best in all that we do and to expect nothing less than your best from you. So through your experiences, through your stories, we have witnessed the richness and importance of welcoming many different voices and backgrounds and perspectives. As the city's university, Cal State LA, is like the global city that we call home. We must always be a place where the world meets itself in the faces of a richly diverse community where we are all welcome to expand our intellectual horizons, to engage with and learn from one another, and to be who we are, unique individuals who share the hopes and dreams and struggles of those we learn from and work with. Our university community is rich with students who bring with them a world of experiences and points of view. During commencement this week, 7,953 students will become graduates of Cal State LA. And I just want to take a moment to give special recognition to one sector of those students. Will all the military veterans who are graduating today please stand? There we go. One hundred nineteen of our graduates this year are veterans of the armed services, and we applaud them on their, for their service and on this great achievement. You have all taught us the meaning of pushing boundaries. You have challenged us and inspired us to become better. So today is indeed your day. You'll receive a degree, but the university 
receives and holds the lessons we learned from you during your time here. As we prepare for the future, we stand on your shoulders. We look forward to a tomorrow that you helped create. We work with energy and focus to be a university that will meet tomorrow's needs and transform the future. And you have a story to tell about being at Cal State LA during a pivotal moment in our history. You are the last class to graduate under the quarter system. Right. That is a historical achievement for sure. And you're graduating at a time when our student population is the highest it's ever been since the university opened its doors in 1947. You're graduating at a time when Cal State LA's prominence is e reaching even greater heights. In January, we opened the new downtown LA campus, which allows us to pro provide new opportunities to students in a vibrant and growing area of the city. And Cal State LA is becoming a leader in a new area, business innovation in the biosciences. Plans are underway, well underway, for the creation of the new Rongshang Shu Bioscience Innovation Center that will give students the opportunity to work with the entrepreneurs who will change the world. As the university's prominence rises, so has giving by alumni and others, including you and your families and friends. Our supporters all want to be part of the good things happening at Cal State LA. So your story belongs to a larger narrative of Cal State LA's success. You belong to the Golden Eagle family, which includes more than 200 40,000 alumni. You're related by shared experience to alumni such as tennis legend Billie Jean King, Congresswoman Maxine Waters, Congresswoman Lucille Roybal Allard, astronaut Samuel T. Durantz, business leader and maker of the Bratz Dolls, Isaac Larian. Ralph Tarasas, Fire Chief of the LA Fire Department. Barry Rondinella, Director of the John Wayne Airport in Orange County. Adriana Ocampo of NASA. Members of the family that owns Gavinia Coffee and members of the family that owns, wait for it, Porto's Bakery. <laughs> and of course, you will hear momentarily from one of our most distinguished alums, Mike Antonovich. So your story includes the rich experiences you've had at the College of Health and Human Services and at the College of Natural and Social Sciences with outstanding faculty experts. They've taught you to be tomorrow's leaders and innovators who bring new perspectives, fresh ideas, and high ambitions. The College of Health and Human Services is home to a nursing master's degree program that U.S. News and World Report ranked among the top programs in the United States. It's, ho it's home to the two 2016 class of nursing doctoral students. Yeah, you know who you are, right? And to students college-wide who are dedicated to the health and well-being of others. Mira Castaneda is passionate about using her education and experience to be a driving force for advancing nursing practices. Her thesis explored ways to prevent patients from falling. Mira works as the chief of patient services at a VA facility in Long Beach. She's the recipient of the prestigious Jonas Nurse Scholar Award, which recognizes students who are committed to improving the care of veterans. Today, Mira graduates with the degree of Doctor of Nursing Practice. She's equipped to provide an even greater service to her patients and to the field of nursing. Mira, where are you? Yeah. 
The College of Natural and Social Sciences is home to the first Chicano Studies Department in America and the second Pan-African Studies Department in America. It's home to the Minority Opportunities in Research Program and the Lewis Stokes Alliance for Minority Participation, sending 29 students on to PhD programs this year. The class of 2016 includes Alejandro Rios, who will use innovation and scientific knowledge to make life better for others. Today, Alejandra graduates with a master's degree in physics. She's on a mission to improve human health by creating new diagnostic equipment. Her personal mission was shaped by countless hours she spent in the lab working closely with her professors on very important research. She is the recipient of numerous scholarships, including the Edison Scholars Scholarship. Alejandra has presented her research at prestigious conferences, and she has been accepted into UCLA's PhD program for physics and biology in medicine. Alejandra, where are you? Right there. Congratulations. So, class of 2016, engaging and serving the public good is part of your story. As a graduate of Cal State LA, you have an important responsibility, one you've upheld during your years here. You've learned the importance of engagement, service, and the public good. You've learned the meaning of compassion. And as you move forward in life, I know you will continue to use your education to lift up your communities, to be a force for good in the world. It's tempting, after all this work, to see commencement as the end, right? The end of an era of academic achievement. But of course, commencement to commence is just the beginning. The beginning for all of you today. Today marks the start of the next chapter in your lives. As you move into the future, whatever that is for you, you will always have this success. You have achieved something wonderful and everlasting, and I have no doubt that you will continue to achieve. You will continue to make us proud, class of 2016. You will soar. Congratulations. Thank you, President Covino. Good afternoon. I'm Scott Bowman, Dean of the College of Natural and Social Sciences. It is my great pleasure to introduce our keynote speaker for this ceremony, Los Angeles County Supervisor Mike Antonovich. He is a familiar figure in the county's political landscape. For 36 years, Mike Antonovich has held a seat on the Los Angeles County Board of Supervisors, serving the two million residents of the fifth supervisor supervisorial district. He is known for his commitment to public safety, effective and responsive representation, and support for small business. Supervisor Antonovich is also a tremendous advocate for our county's foster youth, seniors, and veterans. And Supervisor Antonovich has something in common with each of you. He is a proud alumnus of Cal State LA. In 1963, he earned a BA in social science, and in 1967, he earned a master's in health science. Please join me in welcoming our distinguished alumnus, Supervisor Mike Antonovich. Dr. Bowman was my classmate many years ago, but he stayed at the university. Dr. Covino, faculty and staff, and our new graduates of the 2016 class, I really appreciate the opportunity to be here today and share some views, and to again congratulate you and to your family and friends who are here to support you. 
With the world full of opportunities, your degree at Cal State has taken you to the next step. But I urge you to continue your commitment to learning, maintain a strong work ethic, have integrity, and a strong value system. And as you pursue your goals, don't be discouraged when you have setbacks. We've all failed at one time or another. But the difference between winners and losers is that a winner gets up after being knocked down. I'd like to share three examples of winners who got up after being knocked down. One was a man who was growing up in his first 10 years because of a disability. He was on crutches and braces. His father died when he was four. In the 1960s, as a student at Yale University, he had an idea, he had a concept. He presented that as his paper. But his professor, who knew better because he was professor and he got to wear all the robes and graduate classes year after year, said it didn't work. It was a lousy idea and gave him a low C grade. Well, what happened? Upon graduation from Yale University, he joined the Marine Corps. He served two tours of duty in Vietnam. He earned the Silver Star, the Bronze Star, and two Purple Hearts. He was honorably discharged as a captain, but he still had that idea that he had at Yale that a program that he developed would work. That man was Fred Smith. That idea was Federal Express, which today is FedEx. And I'm sure his former professor is still at the college year after year telling graduates, congratulations, congratulations. Growing up in South Central Los Angeles, I attended Edison Junior High. And the man had, was named for that school. He had an idea. He pursued that idea, but he kept failing. He failed 999 times before he got the damn light bulb to work. Had he given up, he would have been a failure, but he was a winner and he got up and he succeeded that dream. And one of my political role models and one of our great presidents, President Abraham Lincoln, failed in many elections before he was elected president of the United States. All of these individuals had ambition, perseverance, and they refused to give up or be discouraged. They were all winners after being knocked down. And let me add that while you are achieving your career goals, don't forget your family and don't forget your friends. You are a role model to your children. You are a role model to your community and to your family. A biblical verse that has helped me is when Jesus said, what is the gain as a person if you acquire the whole world, but you lose your soul? It's important to be active and participants in the lives of your children, as I say once again. As an elected official, we have a lot of interfacing with the justice system, with the coroner's office, with our cemeteries. And we find that many of those people did not have a family, a family structure, a family that gave them time. And the best gift that you can give a child, when you bring a child into this world, when you're an uncle, you're an aunt, you're a godparent, the best gift you can give that child is not a money, it's time, it's time. In the 19th century, the American diplomat, Charles Francis Adams, he took his son fishing one day. Adams noted in his diary, spent the day fishing with my son, a day wasted. But that night, his son Brooke had written in his diary, went fishing with my father today, the most wonderful day of my life. To paraphrase Charles Swindoll, he said the home is the anvil upon which the problems of young people, those problems are hammered out and where life makes up its mind. One area where we need role models, we need foster parents, we need adoptive parents, is with our Department of Children and Family Services, 
where we have 35,000 children who are looking for that mentor, that family, to give them time and help them have a future. And I know at one of your graduations you're having either today or, or tomorrow is Judge Michael Nash, who was former presiding judge of the Children's Court, Juvenile Court, and he is now in charge of the protective services for the County of Los Angeles. If you're interested in working as a mentor, as an adoptive parent, as a foster parent, you can call our hotline number, which is 888-811-1121. Put that number in your church, synagogue, uh, fraternal organizations, monthly or weekly bulletin, so that people in those organizations can also be aware that the Department of Children and Family Services will come out to you and do a presentation to encourage you to become involved. I would like to, uh, in politics I learned KISS was very important, and that's keep your speech short. So I'm gonna leave you with two remarks. One is a philosophical commentary, and the other is a quote from a dear friend who passed on a few years ago. The philosophical commentary is by Charles Schultz, the creator of Peanuts. And he said, name the five wealthiest people in the world. Name the last five Heisman Trophy winners. Name the last five Miss America winners. Name 10 people who have won their Nobel Prize. Name the last half dozen Academy Award winners for Best Actor and Actress. Name the last decade's worth of World Series winners. The point is, many of us don't remember those individuals. Now, how would we do on this question, series of questions? List a few teachers who aided your journey through school. Name three friends who have helped you through a difficult time. Name five people who have taught you something worthwhile. Think of a few people who have made you feel appreciated and special. Think of five people you would enjoy spending time with. And the lesson, the people who make a difference in your life are not the ones with the most credentials, the most money, or the most rewards. They are the ones who care. They are the ones who care. A friend that I had who passed on a few years ago was a wonderful man, a wonderful role model. He wrote a few books. He was a rabbi of a church in Los Angeles County. In fact, he was when we would do the um, Sybil Brand, who was a wonderful philanthropist, would do her annual Christmas party at the Hillcrest Country Club, she would have his eminence, the cardinal, and the cardinal would refer to Rabbi Magnan as his eminence. And as I searched to find the rabbi's profound words, <laughs> I carry them on a card with me, uh, which I will recite because, uh, because I can't find the page that I had written out. This is what Rabbi Magnum said. A nation survives and prospers only when certain values are respected. Among them are patriotism, integrity, responsibility, sensibility, and sincere leadership and morality. Another preservative is confidence. Citizism is a termite. Negativism is fatal. The old saying that eternal vigilance is the price of liberty is not just a cliche. Vigilance is not watching our enemies from without, but our weaknesses from within. So a nation is like a building. 
It can be destroyed in one or two ways. One is by deliberately tearing it down. The other is by neglect, willful, or otherwise. In time, rust, lack of paint, warping, and termites cause disintegration. So strengthen our families, strengthen our communities, and once again, to those 35,000 children in dependency court today, I encourage you to get involved and be that mentor. The Boys and Girls Club, the Girl Scouts, the Boy Scouts, the YMCA, the WCA, they have programs for mentoring. Please get involved so that these young people will be sitting where you are tomorrow, just as you are sitting here today. So congratulations, God bless you, and I wish you success as we enter this great 21st century. Thank you, Supervisor Antonovich. Now it's my pleasure to introduce the Chief Academic Officer of the University, Dr. Lynn Mahoney, Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs. Provost Mahoney. President Covino, I present to you the candidates for degrees in the College of Health and Human Services and in the College of Natural and Social Sciences. They have met all the requirements for their respective degrees and are recommended by the uni university faculty who taught them. The recipients of the Joint Doctoral Program in Nursing Practice of California State University Los Angeles, Fullerton, and Long Beach will now be escorted to the stage. College of Health and Human Services, Doctor of Nursing Practice. Christina Ray Morris. Gina Gutierrez Rawson. Patricia C. Aguinaldo. Annette K. Sai. Cynthia Ann Sanchez. Mira Cabios Castaneda. Dim Ling Wong Tran.
George Quang Lee. Suzanne Harrison Tang. Yvonne Gallegos. College of Health and Human Services, Master of Arts in Child Development. Samantha Marie Ferguson. Kelly Field. Michelle Nicole Del Rio. Armin Amy Alexanian. Janet Carmen Padilla. Jessica Seha. Natalie Michelle Chicas. Thelma Janet Sea. Julia Ashley Saldana. Maria Alejandra Gutierrez. Daniela Elena Bird. Sara Garcia. Master of Arts in Communicative Disorders. Magali Venegas. Cristina Fernandez. Idoris Valerja. Marilyn Janine Dejaro. Erica Elizabeth Trillinger. Armine Pegosian. Serene Grace Kustililian. Analuz Guzman. Caritza Monique Delon Espinosa. Iris J. Hahn. Sarah Ann Payne. Larissa Chudnovskaya. Tiffany Rezvani. Mary Elizabeth Seward. Sandra Guillen. Jasmine Zuniga Hoig. Deanna Alice Garden. Patrick Nicely. Master of Science in Criminalistics. Lillian Parker Ott. Laura Ruth Monzon. Jessica Roxana Fuhin. Ruby Gama. Christopher C. Wait. 
Brianne Marie Henderson. Perchuni Mariab Gregorian. Alexandra Christine Chavez. Kathy Ann Johnson. Galen Dale Fisher. Ara Ahn. Attica Anwardin. Puning Chen. Emily Lauren Drake. Master of Science in Kinesiology. Pamela Ann Sishi. Ezekiel Randall Short. Terrence Glenn Trauber Jr. Rafi Brodayan. Jacob Dennis Jalmini. Master of Science in Nursing. Elsa Gomez. Veronica Hernandez. Charlotte Marie Nordstrom. Jane Vigil. Jenny Hernandez. Yung Hong Ying. Eva Pabalan Miranda. Elizabeth Guillen. Sang Iap. Allison Tanko Fermesa. Jacqueline Asuncion Marual. Brenda Han. Anaida Pantaki. Kimberly Griffin Menifee. Jennifer Vu. Gloria Yu Ling Yi. Jessica Wu. Mandy Lyle Littlefield. Annie Ivasian. Belinda Yu. Jessica Megan Lee. Christina Fowler. Megan Rose Forkham. Lisa Maldera. Heather Love. Wanting Tan. Tan. 
Sarah Lee Chavez. Amy Sunim Kong. Jing Cheng. Ji Jia. Irma Cecilia Pineda. Beatrice Leva Torres. Joel Solís. Jesse Corrado. Amachi Linda Ajakwe. Christina Herrera. Christine Frances Ansler. Christine Reynoso. Hao Cheng Yao. Stephanie Shwinji Lin. Maria Concepcion Medina. Mia Han. Kasalin Tuva Montorat. Holly Minyu. Eileen Nepomuceno. Dia Nahar. Mangmeet Singh. Jennifer Michelle Minman. Sarabjit Anand. Master of Science in Nutritional Science. Anna Marie Sims. Sylvia Martinez. Stephanie Wan Sink Ng. Anilan Wersowa. Lisa G. Kendrick. Sharon Beckwith. Talene Hakatorian. Leah Faye Cromwell. Shireen Chow. Jenna Batalia Christoph. Leora Aframian. Maya Bros. Jasmine Jean Tom. Haruna Suzuki. Yuri Park. Tiffany Su.
Hester L. Cheng. Grace Sevilla Pangilinan. Faraz Farzoli. Jeanette Elizabeth Solis. Christina Marie Vazulo. Liana Tu. Alyssa Snow Callahan. Master of Social Work in Social Work. Rocio Aguirre. Brianna Clady. Delmi Araceli Martinez. Timothy Joseph Valles. Shana Renee Sanchez. Erica Hernandez. Millicent Therese Pulido. Erica Valle. Cynthia Avila Montana. Don Marie Castillo. Laura Mercedes Preciado. Sharon Miyamura. Natalie Schaefer. Carolina Bugarian. Patricia Arvisu. Cheryl Adriana Alegria. Elizabeth Rodarte Saldana. Veronica Barba. Fong Mai T. Gwen. Annabelle Capristo. Vutira Oak. Carol Gerardo. Heidi Yesenia Martinez. Julie Torres. Yolanda Sigmuth. Sylvester Hernandez. Cecilia Hernandez Argueta. Veronica Navarro Calderon. Diane Elizabeth Smith. Ani Menesian. V. Tao Tran. K. Masata Win. Jacqueline Marie Mindel. Laura Perez. Myra Elisette Garcia. Jacqueline Melissa Rivera. 
Stephanie Barron. Judy Guadarrama. Felisa Estrada. Brianna Janae Fonseca. Jennifer Vargas. Heather Elizabeth Ortega. Lillian Mejia Diaz. Susanna Maria Moreno. Sarah Beth Teeters. Anna Anahit Necessarian. Flora Mirsakani Petrosi. Noreen Ephestician. Gwendolyn Richard. Raven Shamora Battles. Ashley Marie Norris. Kelly Nicole Burgos. Brittany Lynn Martinez. Robert Nakamura. Arlene Jose. Gabriella Marca Swartz. Nancy Herrera. Erica Barrales. Denise Lomeli Quijada. Brecca Young Walker. Jessica Pelayo. Sarah Jones. Virginia Villagomez. Edison Sung Woo Park. Lauren Clement. Stephanie Tomokeo. Shoichi Philip Bagley. Jose Ignacio. Diana Carolina Rivera. Mario Alberto Ramirez. Nazaret Montes de Oca. Dulce Rocha Rojas. Gisela Hernandez Lopez. Myra Alvarado. Brenda Morales. Susana Rodriguez. Yesenia Rubí de Anda. Stacy Melissa Gutierrez. Donna Candy Perez. 
Monica Mora. Bethany G. Jeffrey. Danny Gutierrez. Stephanie M. Gallegos. Inez Diaz Para. Jennifer Ann Martinez. Angela Casares. Trinity Gwen. The recipients for the Master of Arts and Master of Science from the College of Natural and Social Sciences will now be escorted to the stage to be presented. Master of Arts in Anthropology. Juan Landeros. Amber Lene Johnson. Amoretta Joel Acevedo. Samantha Marie Lorenz. Susan Gloria Holbert. Dylan Kalani Birch. Master of Arts in Mexican American Studies. Daniel Edward De La Cruz. Selena Ortega. Marisol Celeste Madrigal Uribe. Ariel Bianca Moreno. Martin Ponce. Harry Kenneth Owens Jr. Chika Mukarami. Nechanok Chamansiri. Master of Arts in Latin American Studies. Raul Ernesto Menjibar. Eduardo Cornell. Roberto Félix Alas. Master of Arts in Political Science. Jonathan Davidian. Andrew Cartwright. Uyanga Borshilov. Master of Arts in History. Catherine Lewitt. Libier Martinez. Christine Gabriel Morton. Asia Classy Williams. Sukta Anund. Brian Richard Sun.
Miguel Manuel Torres. Osvaldo Aaron Colleen. Ricardo Ramos. James Kenneth Steele. Master of Arts in Psychology. Yang Ting Law. Jasmine Ho. Cody Weeks. Carlos Alberto Vidales. Andrew Robert Chavez. Master of Arts in Sociology. Aaron Daniel Ledesma. Aditi Sapra. Sierra Ortega. Henya Cristina Alvayero. Bianca Marie Gomez. Fabian Alviso. Eric David Lopez. Cindy Roa. Ana Laura Torres. Isabel Gallegos. Edgar Isaac Peralta. Master of Science in Public Administration. Shanjira H. Milon. Ludres Andrea Sinibaldi. Sanlin Soferin. Diana Marie Ibarra. Chris Gabriel Sanchez. Danny Rial. Eric Michael Lozick. Robert William Daltario. Alexander E. Harwood. Stephanie Marie Lomali Peralta. Amanda Marie Smith. Carlos Thomas Donoso. Victor Facio. Savannah Ann Moore. Judina Josephine Burke. George Morales Requena. Master of Science in Biology. Jessica Marinas de Jesus. Galina Sharko. Christopher Lucas De Marco. Helen Yip.
Maxine Bravo Ignacio. Brianna Lee Luna. Javier Alejandro Garcia. Carlos Aguirre. Kumar Lee Tiger. Dahi Wang. Lucas Kyle Gutierrez. Luis Felipe Rosa. Oscar Ramón Díaz. Adam Found Sabah. Israel Jiménez Luna. Elaine Badalian. Ani Gigorovana de Gregorian. Yiri Gao. Celeste Rodriguez. Jonathan Castillo. Edgar Perez Reyes. Araceli Acevedo. Isaac Manuel Banda. Adrian Lorenzo Gomez. David Melly Merakian. Mohammed Mustafa Salema. Mariel Reyes Mendoza. Imakilera Karachi Asuji. Master of Science in Environmental Science. Miriam Panassian. Rosemary Bianca Garcia. Carly McKean Creeley. Alexandre Steven Belterzak. Thurston S. Hurtler. Master of Science in Geological Sciences. Michael Harrison. Harrison. Peixin Shu. Edith Carolina Rojas Salazar. Jenny Lee. Sean Francis Bowen. For who? Poor. Master of Science in Physics. Alejandra Rios. Edith Soto. Armand Cordagulian. Master of Science in Mathematics, Nelly Papoyan Gregosian. Mesfin Mersha.
Todd Edward Basil. Jermaine Tucker. Gonzaga Mendez. Daniel Jose Garcia. Alma Patricia Olagues. Joseph Kevin Williams the second. Will the candidates for the doctoral degree and the master's degrees please rise? President Covino. Okay. We're going to make it official now. By the authority vested in me by the state of California and by the trustees of the California State University, I hereby confer upon you the doctoral or master's degree for which you qualify with all the rights, privileges, and honors pertaining thereto. Congratulations, graduates. <laughs> Congratulations. I would like to thank all of the university staff, faculty, students, and volunteers involved in organizing the 69th commencement ceremony and acknowledge the members of the Honors Convocation and Commencement Advisory Committee. Let's give them a hand. Please remain standing. Will the audience please stand as well for the university hymn?
Thank you.
Thank you.